hey, so, yeah, definitely one of those days. I know yesterday wasn't that great either, but uh, got a lot done the other day. Today definitely ran into issues, and then also wasn't in the right sort of uh, environment, mindset, everything else. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it'd just be good to kind of unpack that a little bit. Um, as far as like feature uh, development, th there's no new like features that kind of got completed here. Uh, instead, ran, ran into some issues, and then uh, luckily Nico jumped in and helped me uh, kind of sort those out um, design-wise. So now I, I have a very clear picture design-wise of what needs to be done. That's why I'm getting the, the code to kind of uh, fit that. Um, so I'm probably... I, I can go two directions with how I talk about things for this video. One of them is just the like what that those design fixes and changes were, um, or kind of more of the meta level discussion of how to handle these sort of situations or how I handled the situation, the good and the bad. Um, and I think the meta is going to be more important here, even though the I think that the design stuff is pretty interesting. Um, uh, the design stuff is more relevant to, you know, me and the work that 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 I'm uh, that I'm doing with DoffDev than anything else. Um, and so I think it'd be better to focus on the meta level uh, discussion. So, uh, I think it can be. Hmm. This is something I ran into quite a bit, where, or quite a few times over my years of coding, where I, I, I go, yeah, I end up kind of in a good spot where I'm implementing features at a pretty consistent pace, and then I, I, hit, I hit a road bump, um, and it's usually based on either not a full understanding of what needs to be done design-wise, um, or not enough understanding of how to turn that into code to where it's really easy to kind of like spin your tires and burn burn out. Um, and you in and, and, and usually a very destructive way because what you end up doing is you, you just try all these different things. You, you end up kind of being a bit too heavy handed and destructive with your code. Um, so luckily, I was able to avoid a little bit of that, but mostly because you know the the designer I work with hopped in on the stream right at the right moment. Um, so I think it kind of comes down to being able to <laughs> either have someone intervene or to stop yourself at the right moment. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to talk about for that um hmm yeah um yeah i'm not i'm really not sure i, I guess I could, I could get into the the design stuff so When there's like a a goal you're trying to like reach out to, right? And then there's a way that the the current systems work or your current understanding of how they work. Um, getting it over there can actually be pretty difficult because your perspective is very much informed from your current position. So you're not even necessarily clearly seen where you're trying to go to um, and it's not always an obvious path to get to it as well um, so part of it 
is an exploration process where you do need to kind of walk down a couple paths, get a better idea of what is in play here. Um, and that can be done at different levels as well. That can be done just from a design level discussion. Um, and it can also happen with the code. Uh, so, yeah, as far as the, yeah, yeah. And I, I, you can't really, like, understate that and overstate that enough. Yeah. It, it's it's so it's so important to be able to, like, acknowledge that and be able to work with that. Because a lot of times, a lot of things just kind of die at that point. They, they, they never are able to connect. Um, and it, it's a hurdle that I've had to jump quite a few times. I still don't know if I have like really clear thoughts for how to describe it or walk through it, or even if I have a good set of uh, tools or practices that help me through it. Um, if anything, th like, this whole video is like, hey, I've reached kind of a weak point. <laughs> um, which is... I'm not sure what to do from there other than like, okay, I'm, I'm acknowledging it. Maybe I could try to explore some different ways of handling it, but, but yeah, it's, you know, it's a matter of trying to navigate that, uh, back and forth until you really kind of get a clearer picture. Um, I, I guess I can talk about where I left off. So the place I left off is I, I was thinking about converting the code I have currently to be able to fit this, uh, to better fit the design that we're trying to achieve. Um, and I, I keep going back and forth on it because it seems like it might be relatively straightforward, but it might introduce some weird problems. But as you can hear, there's a lot of mites in that statement, um, which makes it something that I kind of don't want to try. <laughs> But also, it's like I, I don't have a good enough reason to not. Um, as well as the the other way would be not to like recode it from scratch, but to take out the parts that uh, we have this new perspective and understanding of, and kind of rebuild for that. Um, so I start as you can see on screen, it's popping in and out there. But I, I've started to figure out what those parts are. Um, and really break them down into like d different systems. Uh, and, and so I'm kind of trying to approach it from that way, but it's still not a, a clear answer. Um, cause with the new way, with, with the new way that I'm kind of starting to visualize, it's not clear enough to where I can just say, oh, there's A and there's B, and I can kind of evaluate which path to go down. Um, both have both have plenty of unknowns in them still. Um, so, yeah, I think at this point it's still very much an exploration thing, and I think being able to switch gears into exploration is probably the whole point. Uh, of this video, <laughs> I, I think, yeah. Or of this work session, or however you want to describe it. Um, I think, yeah, switching gears to exploration is key. Because there's kind of the architecture level, where you're like, okay, how do I build kind of these low-level systems that can help me uh, end up in the spots where I want to end up. And there's the, the feature development, where you're developing these features on top of this those uh, lower, lower level systems. Um, and then sometimes you enter this zone where it's kind of in between the two maybe, where you need to do some exploration. Uh, and you can't be in your feature driven mode where you need to be kind of almost a very brutal and very fast paced uh, with, with how you decide to do things. Um, and you can't be as like long thinking as you might be for the architecture side. So yeah. <laughs>